Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of column in Tecla structures. In this column, we have two ISMC standard channels and these two channels are welded with these plates like this. Okay, let's start. Yeah. Open your Tecla structures with Indian environment. By default, you will get like this. Now, I'm going to create views first. So, before going to create views, click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. You can directly click on create, then click on OK and OK. Now, I'm going to place the column at here. For example, let's take here. So, click on this steel tab and select this column and click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse interrupt. By default, you will get I section, but we need uh, I, ISMC standard column. So, double click on this column to open column property window and click on here and select ISMC column. And by default, we have ISM, ISMC 400 column. Now, click on modify and click on space, right click on mouse, to drop it like this. Okay, now I'm going to change this column height. So, use the shortcut control 4 for solid view and click on this double click on this column and we are going to change the bottom level 0 and top level 6000 and click on modify and we are going to place this column position we are going to change this column position click on window and select this view list and let's take top 10 at 0 and click on this arrow to open now currently we have column at the center here position we are going to change this position so you can see under the position vertical click on here and select down click on modify to see that we don't record like that so make it middle we don't we are need to change this position horizontally so click on here and select the left and click on modify like this we need another column opposite of this facing so select this column right click on mouse copy special click on mirror and pick the first position here and pick the second position here and click on copy and click on expand here then click on ok right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have two columns this one and these two members we have two members like this click on window and set this 3d view you can see we have column like this use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point here and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this Now we have two ISMC members, standard members. Now we need to place the plates at this location. So go to the elevation along grid 1. So click on window and select this view list and select this grid along 1 and click on this arrow to open. Now I'm going to place the plate at here. Before going to place the plates, we need to create reference points. So click on edit and select this point and click on here select this point at any position and pick the first position here and pick the second point here right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have two points we need to move these points uh, from ground level to 200 millimeter upside so select these two points drag and select just drag and select these two points right click on mouse move special linear and we need to move upward direction you can see in the coordinate we need to move in z direction so enter here in z direction let's take 200 millimeter click on move and ok right click on mouse interrupt now have two points like this now we need to move this point 5 millimeter inside so drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear we need to move clear it the dimensions and we need to move in x direction so enter here 5 millimeter click on move and ok similarly we are going to move this at point also so drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear click on clear and we need to move opposite x direction so need to enter here minus 5 millimeter click on move ok we need to measure this dimension here so click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension we have 190 millimeter horizontal distance similarly we are going to place the points upward direction 200 millimeters so drag and select these two points right click on mouse 
copy special linear. Now we need to copy in upward direction that means in z direction. So we need to enter the value at z direction 200 millimeter then click on copy ok. Right click on mouse interrupt you can see like, like this. To remove this checking dimensions you can you can click on space right click on mouse redraw. Similarly these points are so gone disappear so we need to appear once again so double click on space and click on display and we need to select this tick mark here and then click on modify apply ok to display the points in the model then click on ok you will get like this now we're going to measure the dimensions once again click on measure and set this horizontal distance we already know this is the 190 and vertical distance we're going to measure and click on here and click on second point and click on here to place the dimension 200 millimeter we need to create the place plate uh, connected to these four points and width should be 190 and the height should be 200 millimeter. So go to the steel and select this plate option and pick the first point and second point and third point and fourth point and pick the initial point to create the plate. Right click mouse interrupt, click on space, right click mouse redraw. Now go to window and select this plan view, you can see plate default generated at the middle of this axis but we need to place this plate at the edge of this flanges so select this plate before that we are going to change this thickness of the plate so double click on this plate and we required 8 millimeter thickness according to our design information so click on modify it and close it now i'm going to place this plate at this position so select it right click on mouse move and pick the first point here and you can see you you'll get this perpendicular symbol then you click on it to place the exactly like this now this edge, this edge spacing should be 5 millimeters so edit and set the measurement and set the horizontal distance and measure this dimension 5 millimeter and here also that should be 5 millimeter you can also check the thickness of this plate so pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension you can see click on space right click on mouse to draw you to erase the dimensions similarly you require this same plate at here so you can directly copy it select it and use the shortcut ctrl c to copy or you can right click on mouse copy and pick the point at here and pick the second point perpendicular to this picking position to place the point like this click on window and select this 3d view you can see now have two point plates like this now we need to remove this point so double click on space click on display and remove this points option then click on modify apply ok to you can see now have two plates like this similarly we are going to place the plates at the to top of top end also so go to the elevation view before that we are going to select these two plates and go to the elevation view on grid 1 and copy it by using the shortcut ctrl c and pick the point at here and you can place the perpendicular position at here right click on mouse interrupt you can see now here plates at the top but we need to move this plates 500 millimeter bottom side so we're going to drag and select these two plates right click on mouse move special linear we need to move click on clear first then we need to move in opposite z direction so enter here minus 500 millimeter then click on move okay like this like this now go to the elevation view use the shortcut ctrl p to get plane view like this click on space right click on mouse zero view now going to measure this Two dimensions so click on here measure and select this vertical distance from this point to this point and click on here now have 500 5100 millimeter now i'm going to place the three plates in between these two plates so we're going to measure the dimensions so click on here equal spacing so 
we're going to calculate it 5100 divided by we required three plates means four spacings so enter four we required each plate spacing at 1275 millimeter so we're going to copy these plates so go to 3d view I drag and select these two plates right click on mouse copy special linear right click on mouse copy special linear we record three number of copies and click click on clear first then take number of copies three and in the z direction we record 1275 and click on copy and ok you can see now we have three plates like this now go to the elevation on grid one i'm going to check the spacing in between vertical distance you can see from here to here we have 1275 millimeter similarly we have same 1275 millimeter and here also same now we're going to measure this dimension also you can see now we have 1275 millimeter like this click on 3d view you can see you will get like this this is the standard column ismc you will like this now coming to this welding option you can see when you select this member right click on mouse inquire and select this assembly you will get only one that means there is no welding option at this at this point now we're going to weld this uh, members to create a assembly member the fabrication member so go to the steel and select this weld and pick the first member and pick the second member to weld these two members now you can see this is the primary member orange indicates the primary member yellow color indicates the secondary member now coming to these plates we need to say do the same procedure select this weld and pick the first member and pick the second member do the same first member and secondary member and pick the first member and secondary member and pick the first member and second member and pick the first member and second member to weld like this now we're going to enquire it to to show the fabrication member so select this any part of this plate or any member select it right click on mouse enquire and select the assembly you can see now we have the entire set like this similarly we need to weld these plates also to include these plates also in this fab fabrication part so go to the weld and select it and pick this pick the first part and second part to weld it and do the same procedure to the remaining remaining plates like this okay that's it you can see now going to enquire it so select this plate right click on mouse enquire select it right click on mouse enquire and select this assembly you can see now we have primary orange color indicates the primary member and remaining yellow color indicates the secondary members and this is the entire fabrication part like this Similarly, we can create the base plate at the bottom. I will explain in the future tutorial how to create the base plate for this column. Okay. Now, currently we have assembly position C0. For example, if you wanted to make the numbering, go to the drawings and go to the performing and select this number modified objects and click on save number. Now numbering also completed. Now we're going to check the number. So select it, right click on enquiry and assembly. You can see now we have C1 assembly like this, and these are the secondary parts we have like this. Okay, that's it about how to create this type of ISMC standard column channels and with these plates. Okay, if you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more technical structure related tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Learning SK YouTube channel. Okay, thank you.